Welcome to Hands on Science, where if you ever just need something to do, this is the place to be. And I guess this is Car. And that me. over there is Mel. Right? What are you playing, Car? This is a color mixing wheel. Color mixing wheel. So, if wait, you did you get permission from mom and dad? Of course. Okay, cool. So, if you look closely, when the wheel slows down, what colors do you see? I see blue and red. Okay. Yeah. And then when the wheel's going really quick, very, very fast, what color are you seeing? I see purple. It's purple. So this mixes right before your eyes. Mm, it sure does. Isn't I see purple. Cool? Mm -hmm. So you have to get the wheels spinning really, really fast to see those colors mix. And it has to do with your eyes. And it's like a optical illusion? Almost. Almost. Mm -hmm. can your I eyes can only... Yeah, we totally make one. Your eyes can only follow those colors so quickly mm -hmm. and so because those colors are going so so fast your eyes just kind of blend them together and that's how you Ew. have two colors turn into cool purple. so on your side you've got some colored paper yes I do that we've already cut out and we've got the three primary colors there's a red one there too oh, there you go okay so which color would you like to start with uh, let's do uh, how about we do red and yellow red and yellow yeah okay so Go ahead and take one of the cardboard circles, okay. and I've got a glue. Oops. I've got a glue stick here for you. Okay. And go ahead and use this glue stick to glue your red and yellow wheels to that brown cardboard. Red and yellow. Mm -hmm. What color does that make? Red and yellow makes make. orange. Ew. So this way, car yep. or that? So red will go on one side, okay. yellow will go on the other, and when you glue your yellow one on. Uh -huh you want this vertical or this bisecting line to kind of line up. So if the yellow line is vertical, when you flip it over, you want the red line to be vertical, vertical. as well. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Vertical, right? Okay. And vertical. Yep. Close enough. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. But your finished project looks a little cooler if they're pretty close. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Is that pretty yep. close? Yeah, pretty That's close. pretty close. Okay. Okay. So on your side, you've also got a pair of scissors. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut this blue circle right across that bisecting okay. line. Right straight across? Yep, there straight across. You're going to get two half circles okay. when you're done. Okay, there we go. Okay. I got two. Now using your glue stick, one okay. more time, you're going to glue one half on the yellow side and the other half on the red side. And oh. it doesn't matter if you do them both on the right or one on the right, one on the left. Okay. Just one half. half on each side. Yep. Okay. I can do that. So one on this side. Yep. Flip it over and I can do this side. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't one matter. On the right? other side. Doesn't matter left or right. Okay. Just so you have two colors on one side of your color mixing wheel. Okay. There you go. Now I have a nail here. And if you look real close, there's two little tick marks yes. that are on these circles. Yes. And I'm going to do one, and then you can do the other. I'm going to take this nail okay. and put the point right on that tick mark. And I'm going to push very carefully so I don't poke my fingers on the other side. I'm going to push this nail through to the other side okay. so that I have a hole that goes right through. So this one, the uh, hole is more on the blue than on the red. That's totally OK. okay? So I've done one side. Now you can go ahead and do the other. Right on this little line right, right here. Right on that little tick mark. Yep. And just be careful to not poke your fingers. Okay. And perfect. Okay. okay. So I have a length of string for you. Okay. And what I did, if you noticed, I put a little piece of tape yes. on the end I of that string. That. Okay. And that's going to make it easy to push that string through those two little holes. All right, so one on the top, doesn't yep. matter which nope. way you start it? Okay. doesn't matter which okay, way you start. Okay, here we go. I went right through. Okay, and then now you want to take that end and push it back through the second hole. Okay. Let's push it through a little bit. There we go. Okay. 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 And then go ahead and put your two ends together okay. like that. Okay. And you're just going to tie a knot. Do I pull it out? We're going to put it in the okay. center once we've got this big loop. So you're going to tie a knot. You don't have to go too close to the edge because what we'll do is we'll use your scissors and we'll trim it. You just want a knot to keep the strings together. Like this? Yeah. 
Any any knot that'll that'll keep the two strings together. Okay. Okay, perfect. And if you've got some long tails, mm -hmm. like what Bill's got right here, you can use your scissors and just, just go ahead and it. trim those off. Get my scissors mm -hmm. and just kind of trim the top. It's okay if I cut off that tape, right? Yes. Okay. The tape only serves the purpose to push the strings through those holes. So once your string got goes it. through the holes, the tape uh, has served its purpose okay. and you can cut it off. Okay. And then I've just kind of taken two ends of my string and put that approximately in the center. Oh, okay. Like that. Like this, okay. Mm -hmm. And then okay. this is the part where it takes a little bit of practice. And so you're going to swing your Sweet. color mixing Whoa. wheel All right. so that what the strings twist. And then you're going to gently pull on those strings back and forth. So pull and release and let the wheel do the spinning. Mine's is not quite spinning like yours. Yeah, oh, there, a, there we go. go. It takes a little bit of practice. Oh, look at and that. you gotta be a little gentle, but you will get your colors to mix. So on the one side, red and blue make purple. And yours on the other side, perfectly. Let's see if I'm turn mine's around. is not quite spinning. Let's see. Yellow and blue. It's not make spinning green. quite as well as yours. There you go. Yours is going perfectly. Yeah, it does take some practice. Mm -hmm. So while we practice. are going to get some practice in with our color mixing wheel, guys, if you liked this project as much as we did, make sure to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. You can leave any ideas that you may have on our next activity that we should do at Hands on Science. Leave those ideas below in the comments. You can find this activity and so much more at MidnightScienceClub.com. And we'll even leave the template for the color mixing wheel yep. in the description below. We'll see you next time. Bye.